Secret Solve. How plant cells know when to stop growing. The revelation could profoundly affect cell research for some types of plants and creatures, just as the eventual fate of yields. Plant cells. It's been a long-standing mystery in science. How do cells realize how enormous they are? The appropriate response, it ends up, was covered up inside Robert Sablowski's PC documents, gathering virtual residue since 2013. I had the information for quite a long time, however I wasn't glancing in the correct way, says Sablowski, a plant cell researcher at the John Innes Center in Norwich, England. He had, for a previous undertaking, been researching a protein called KRP4. By melding it with a fluorescent jellyfish protein to make it sparkle, Sablowski could examine it inside a plant cell, yet he had no clue about that it is vital to understanding cell size guideline. For organic entities to create, their cells should go through an example of development, DNA replication, and division. However, researchers who study this interaction, known as the phone cycle, have since a long time ago saw that the divisions aren't really indistinguishable, cells regularly split unevenly, and their sizes by one way or another adjusted later. In an investigation distributed in Science last month, Sablowski and his partners uncovered exactly how plants are getting along this. The phones utilize their own DNA as a kind of estimating cup. While the revelation was made by examining a plant called Arabidopsis, it could have wide ramifications for understanding cell size guideline in creatures and people, and may even impact the eventual fate of harvest creation. Distinguishing how cells evaluate their own size has been convoluted, on the grounds that most cell proteins scale with the size of the actual cell. Sablowski looks at the circumstance to attempting to gauge yourself with your own arm. You can't do it, in light of the fact that your arm fills with respect to your body, he says. You need an outside reference to realize how enormous you are. What doesn't change as the cell develops, in any case, is its DNA. Researchers have since a long time ago guessed that a cell could utilize its DNA as some sort of pointer to measure its size, yet Sablowski's group is quick to show evidence of this cycle. It's been a significant secret for some, numerous a very long time in science, how cells can achieve this errand of mysteriously knowing what their size is, says Martin Howard of the John Innes Center, who fostered the numerical models required for the leap forward. Shape and size guideline are significant on the grounds that they are intently attached to how a cell capacities. Too huge and it very well may be hard for the cell to rapidly recover data contained in its own DNA. Too little and the cell needs more space to part appropriately, causing blunders in division and development that could prompt infection. Arabidopsis is really a weed, as indicated by Sablowski, however it's viewed as a model living being in plant science since it's not difficult to develop and develops rapidly. That implies it's now been all around concentrated by different analysts in the field. The people group for Arabidopsis has been basic, says Marco Dario, an alumni understudy at the John Innes Center who planned and played out the test. The very exploratory arrangement that took us three or four years, without the local area, it effectively would have taken 10 to 15. The group developed Arabidopsis in pots for around a month and a half, then, at that point slashed off the plant's small developing tip, the part where new leaves and blossoms arise, to notice it's proceeded with development under a magnifying instrument. They could follow, at about 1000x amplification, the area and size of every cell in the developing tip at various phases of the cell cycle. Sablowski and Dario exchanged movements, keeping an eye on the cells each and every hour more than two days. We had the hardware, we had the material. We simply expected to focus in and do the 48-hour trial to get the information that no one else had, Sablowski says. Scientist explains one concept in five levels of difficulty, CRISPR. Three-dimensional perspective on the developing tip amplified around multiple times. The fuchsia shows the measure of KRP4 protein in. Three-dimensional perspective on the developing tip gathering of cells at the focal point of the picture, amplified around multiple times. The maroon shows the measure of KRP4 protein in every cell, while the green was utilized to uncover cells that are going to imitate their DNA, after KRP4 has been adequately weakened. Representation. Robert Sablowski, J.I.C. Sablowski and Dario were explicitly watching the conduct of KRP4, a protein that controls how long it requires for the cell to develop prior to continuing onward to the following phase of its cycle, DNA replication. 
This is a similar protein Sablowski saw fluorescing eight years earlier in a different test. During the development stage, the pair saw KRP4 coasting uninhibitedly in the core of the phone, keeping it from recreating too soon. Not long before division, nonetheless, Sablowski and Dario saw that the KRP4 was not, at this point free coasting, yet had connected itself to the phone's own DNA, guaranteeing that every one of the two little girl cells it would part into would get an equivalent measure of the protein. The DNA would go about as an estimating cup, Sablowski says, which is utilized to take a fixed measure of KRP4 out of the pool that exists in the cell. Any KRP4 left in the pool would be cleaned away by another protein before the division. Then, at that point the cycle would start by and by with the new little girl cells. The key to cell size guideline, the researchers acknowledged, lies in the convergence of KRP4 in each new cell. However the little girl cells acquire an equivalent measure of KRP4, on the grounds that they may be various sizes, the convergence of this protein in every cell isn't really something very similar. As the researchers saw under the magnifying lens, more modest cells began with a higher grouping of KRP4 and invested more energy developing. For greater cells, the fixation was weakened, so they became less. Generally speaking, this decent out any deviations in cell size across the plant's developing tip. Secret settled. The group ascribes quite a bit of this accomplishment to best of luck, because of the old records on Sablowski's PC. In those pictures, we could see the chromosomes sparkling with KRP4, and the little cells sparkling more than the greater cells, Sablowski recollects. And afterward we had our underlying idea. Why has this taken such a long time to sort out? Sablowski says it's an interesting marvel to investigate on the grounds that it requires considering proteins that are totally essential for development and division. Any examinations that eliminate or transform them can be deadly, killing the cell before researchers find the opportunity to contemplate it. Yet, this time, as well as noticing the typical cell cycle under the magnifying lens, the analysts had the option to change the interaction without a transformation in a subsequent trial. They obliterated the capacity of the protein that ordinarily controls KRP4 levels in the core. Without it, the cells in the developing tip remained alive, Yet they turned out to be strangely factor in size, affirming the job KRP4 plays in managing it. For certain researchers, the response to this secret is satisfyingly direct. I think that it's delightful that science can depend, in a particularly sharp way, on segments that are as of now in the cell for a totally extraordinary reason, says Ariel Amir, a biophysicist at Harvard University who considers cell size in yeast and microscopic organisms. Amir is especially inspired by whether this interaction means the bacterial cell cycle. Plainly, the atomic players will be extraordinary, the proteins will be unique, yet the center thought of utilizing DNA as a format could, on a basic level, mean different species, he says. While ebb and flow research generally centers around cell size, Amir accepts the greater inquiry is truly about cell cycle control or how the periods of development, DNA replication, and division happen in the perfect request and with the right planning to create a solid cell. One emotional model where cell development goes crazy is on account of disease, he says, taking note of the significance of seeing how cells tick. Nilima Sinha, a botanist at the University of California, Davis, is fascinated by how this disclosure may ultimately prompt expanded yields for food creation. During the time spent harvest training and reproducing, people have accidentally chosen plants with greater cells, since they regularly compare to greater foods grown from the ground. Seeing how cell size is controlled, Sinha says, is an initial step to figuring out how to all the more deliberately impact this relationship ourselves. She additionally imagines that bigger plants could assist with the large-scale manufacturing of biofuel, which comprises of developing yields, as switchgrass, on minimal terrains and changing over them into a sustainable fuel called ethanol. A definitive wellspring of all energy on this planet is the sun, she says. What's more, the greater part of the energy we use is being transduced through plants. Even our petroleum derivatives, similar to oil and coal, come from the remaining parts of antiquated plants. So why not utilize current photosynthesis? Sinha inquires. Developing bigger vegetation may likewise assist with carbon sequestration, an environmental change alleviation technique in which individuals plant life to purposefully trap abundance carbon dioxide from the climate. 
With the right conditions, greater plants could store more carbon underground in their underlying foundations and in the dirt. Everything's about how much mass you make, Sinha says. Also, that is completely identified with cell development and cell size and cell division. While their emphasis was on plants, the researchers at the John Innes Center know about the more extensive impacts this revelation could have. Knowing what's going on in plants guides what you ought to ask close to comprehend this instrument in people, Sablowski says. He has seen ongoing work proposing a comparable size guideline measure in human cells, where a tumor silencer protein, one that, when inactivated, see, 